Joe and Top Secret? Top Secret, which I have to find. I'm always constantly looking for the USB cable. This is like my yeah. life. Hold on. Where is it? I just had it. Here it is. Okay. Every cable is black. Okay. That's right. That's our thing. That's your plug. Okay. <laughs> so what? Uh, what is okay. not out yet? Don't ask. So okay. So you know how I can't get Sandy fifty ones. Have I, have I mentioned that before? Can't get Sandy fifty ones. Uh, but I really like the Matrix Portal. So I thought, like, well, you know, at the time when we we designed the Matrix Portal board, there wasn't um, a USB native ESP thirty two board, and we didn't have the Wi Fi workflow. But now there is. This is an ESP thirty two S two, and it's got the level shifters. And it's got the same exact layout. So you've got two buttons, uh, you know, stub QT port, uh, one analog output, and it does the plug-in uh, thing. And this is the power. You can connect power here, but I didn't. I just connected power to the uh, of a separate power plug. But you could power it through USB, um, and you know, it's running uh, Proto Matter, um, and we have Circuit Python support for the S2 as well. I do want to revise this. I was, you know, just after I finished it, I was like, you know, I should really use the S3, not the S2 because um, you get the secondary core and then BLE support. So I'm gonna redo that. But uh, otherwise, you know, it's kind of nice to, um, you know, just there's just no SAMD51. So I don't have to worry about getting that chip for the next two years. So um, coming soon, so that's, okay. that's one Anything thing. Anything else you wanna share? Yeah, and then, um, you know, people really liked our TFT ESP32 boards. Um, and so I thought, you know, that those versions have the TFT on the top, so you uh, plug them in, and then there's this module on the bottom, the TFT on the top. But I thought we could do the other way around as well. This could be like kind of panel mount uh, friendly. So the only thing is, is that I think uh, this this one's not programmed. One second, one of these is programmed, maybe or not. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, it just has the the bootloader on it. Oh, there you go. Uh, but yeah, I've got the TFT. It's got three I/O buttons here, so you can do like very simple little user interface things, a reset button. Um, you know, NeoPixel, Stemma QT. Uh, battery monitor of change to the Max 17048 because I can't get the LC709 anymore. And then this one has an S2 and this one has an S3 because there's still, there's still reasons to use one or the other, but luckily the modules are like pin compatible. Um, so this will be, you know, it's just kind of nice because it's like maybe you want a very clean look, you know, with a little user interface, uh, TFT, and then you can plug feather wings onto the back and they don't, they're not in the way of the display or the user interface. So maybe like you put a LoRa feathering on the back of this and now it's like, okay, you got a little Wi-Fi LoRa gateway with the TFT that you can panel mount uh, very easily. It's got four mounting holes. Okay. Them's the top secrets. That's the top secrets.